the hair cutting I'll show you. This is an Oster detachable blade clipper and these are Oster blades. They range from a blade that will leave the hair one one hundredth of an inch long all the way up to a blade that will leave the hair a half inch long. This is what I'd call a bare minimum tool kit. Here we have a adjustable blade clipper. This is a wall which is the lowest price good quality clipper I know of. A full set of attachments, one eighth inch, quarter inch, three eighths inch, half inch, five eighths, three quarter inch, seven eighths, and one inch. The combs and scissors. If your clipper ever gets to where it doesn't cut very well, you should give your uh, blades a flush of oil right between the upper and the lower blade, like this. See all that that came out of there? That now will cut a lot better. If an oyster clipper moves too fast through the hair, it can get jammed to the point of not cutting, even though the top blade is moving back and forth. The culprit is a hair or two stuck between the upper and lower blade. You can get rid of the problem by doing what you see here. To get us started on the hair cutting how-to, I'll go over the different kinds of clipper cutting you learn in this video. There are two basic kinds of clipper cutting to learn, what I call direct contact clipping and clipper over comb cutting. On direct contact clipping, there are a couple ways of doing it. The first one, the bottom of the clipper blade touches the scalp as the clipper moves through the hair. Virtually all of the buzz cut, the first haircut on this video, is done this way. This kind of direct contact clipping is much used. It cuts off a lot of hair as the clipper moves through the hair with the bottom of the clipper blade touching the scalp. On clipper over comb cutting, again, there are two ways to do it. Number one is the horizontal method, and with the comb carefully positioned, the touching the scalp or at some distance from the scalp, depending on how long you want to leave the hair, the clipper will travel to the left or right, cutting off the hair that protrudes from the comb. Notice the tips of the comb teeth are positioned farther from the scalp than the back part of the comb. This is the standard approach for over the comb cutting. The clipper can travel to the left or to the right, but you'll see most of my cutting is done with the clipper moving from the right to the left. Well, direct contact clipping is done to that part of a haircut that is to be cut short around the sides and back, for example. Clipper over comb cutting is typically used where you want the hair to get gradually longer, say around the upper sides and back where you're trying to blend into the longer top hair. This business of the hair gradually getting longer is called tapering. The important skill on clipper over comb tapering is to have the comb positioned properly. The clipper only cuts off the hair that protrudes from the comb, so you want to have your primary focus on getting the comb positioned the way you want. Okay, we're on to the first haircut on this tape, and it's called a buzz cut, also been called a burr, a butch, or a hiney. This is how you're going to do it. Start with cutting around the sides and back, clip it up quite high. Step two is to clip the top hair. Step three is to blend the sides and back to the top hair. Generally the top hair is left a little longer than the sides and back. Step four is to taper the neck and to do the outline. Step five, we're going to take care of ears, nose, and eyebrow hair if needed. I start out on the side using a one and a half blade, which leaves the hair three sixteenths of an inch. It doesn't matter if you start out on the right side, left side, or back. Note how my left hand helps guide the clipper up through the hair, and how the comb is tucked out of the way so I can make use of my left hand. Also note the slight tapering movement at the top of each pass up through the hair. Now I switch to a three and a half blade, which will leave the top hair three eighths of an inch long. All the cutting on the sides and now on the top is done with the clipper traveling through the hair, going against the hair grain. 
Note the different way of holding the clipper for the top cutting. Also see how I keep the cord out of the way so it doesn't brush up against his face. Here I switch to a two blade which leaves the hair a quarter inch for the blending between the one and a half blade and three and a half blade cutting. Now we move on to the top hair. I want to get it all cut to an inch long, so I'm going to use my Andis clipper in the triple out position with a one inch attachment. Notice how I comb through the hair from the crown area towards the front hairline, occasionally as I make my paths through the hair.